Family, you must be extremely mindful of the people that you are allowing into your space. All right, even the friends that you used to run with, your family, all of them, you must be very, very mindful of this, okay? You cannot trust everybody and you cannot tell everybody your business. I have a great motivational message for you today, all right? Stay tuned, but you already know the deal. First, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming your reality, and you can feel as if it is already yours, man. Happy Friday, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a beautiful day today. A beautiful day today, man. It's been a hard week, family. It's been a hard week, chosen ones. I know some of y'all can resonate with that, man. It's been, it's been, it's just been a hard week for a lot of people across the planet. All right, I sympathize with y'all. Okay, we're in this together, family. Do not forget that. Keep on keeping on. We are in this together. All right. Now let's get right to this message. All right. Let's tune in. Let's get right to this message. All right. Now remember, a lot of you that have already gone through your awakening. Maybe you just had it, all right? Or you, you're going through it. Maybe you're years into it. Whatever the case is, we're all together. Like, we're all on the same vibration. We're all here together, all right? But the people, man, you have to be very, very careful. Even There's gonna be people that fall away from your life, but some of them are gonna try to still dip their toe in the water with you, all right? You gotta be careful. Even some of the new people that you meet, all right, some of the new people are me. They're gonna, they're gonna feel your energy. They're gonna feel and know your light so much. They see that you got the Holy Ghost on you. They see that God is walking with you. They see, all right, that you are successful. They see that you are amazing. That you have something great about you. All right, people are gonna try to latch on to you. All right, they're gonna be like leeches. You gotta be very careful. Some people are going to try to be leeches, leeches. And the thing is, family, is that a lot of the people that you used to grow up with and even some of your own family members, man, some of your own family, all right, family, friends, colleagues, a lot of these people are going to try to still t stay in contact with you, right? Like I said in my last video, all right, they will publicly criticize you, all right, to other people, to other friend groups, all right, to other groups over here at the job, at the workforce, just so they can stay in good graces with them. They will publicly, publicly criticize you to them, all right? But when they turn around and they go home, all right, they're trying to copy you. They're doing everything like you. They're talking like you. They're trying to wear their hair like you. They're trying to be like you. They're trying to dress like you. They're trying to do everything like you, but publicly, okay? They're trying to criticize you. Now, that type of person right there is the type of person that's gonna try to keep their fo foot in good graces with you, all right? Because just in case you make it, chosen ones, just in case, which we already know you're going to because you are successful, you are abundant. Guys, I need y'all to understand something. This is our year. This is your time, all right? All the time throughout your entire life, man. Remember, they had never acknowledged you. They never looked up to you. They never trusted you. They never gave you the opportunity. They never even gave you the opportunity before even knowing your qualifications. They didn't even give you the opportunity, but now, okay, God said the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Every time you was last chosen one, this is your time to be first. This is your moment. But there's gonna be people that you used to rock with, that you used to hang with, that they're gonna still try to dip their foot back into the water with you. Okay, because just in case you make it, all right, they want to be able to say, oh, that was my best friend. Oh, that was this. Oh, they were this to me. We're close. Oh, yeah, I got their number in my phone. Man, you didn't already change your phone number. <laughs> you want a new vibe. You want a new wave. You didn't already change your phone number. They try to call you up. I'm sorry. This phone has been disconnected. Next thing you know, they are sitting there looking silly to the person that they told that to. A lot of people are going to try to keep in good graces with you, all right, just in case you make it. But the thing is, is that if you fail, which you're not going to, but this is how they're thinking. If you fail, then they can continue to publicly criticize you. They can go back to that group of people and say, see, 
I told you they wasn't going to be able to. I told you they was they was never amount. They could never amount to anything. They was nothing. But then they go home and then they're copying and they're talking and, they, and then they're trying to figure out how you're doing it. They're trying to figure out how is it that you're able to keep on keeping on. Right. They're, they're trying to figure out how are you able to keep moving the needle forward. Amid, when 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 every adversity is always being pushed against you, all the trials and tribulations and the pain and sufferings that you guys have endured, man, you guys have gone through a lot and I sympathize with you. I'm here with you, family. That's why this community is being built. That's why we're in this together, literally, literally. OK, this world is going through a massive change, a massive, massive change. All right. People are turning into zombies. Sorry to say it, but it's true. People aren't even paying attention anymore. Like, I, I, the, the biggest thing that could be the most common sense thing, people still don't even get it. They still don't even grasp onto it. And it's like, how do you not see, pay, what, what is going on? A lot of people are going to try to stay in good graces with y'all. All right. A lot of these people out here that doesn't rock with you. And I'm telling you, they're watching y'all, man. They're paying very close attention to the way you're moving. That's why you must move in silence. That's why you cannot trust everybody. Remember, like I said, on your journey, all right, on your journey, on this new path where God is taking y'all right now. All right. You've been through your spiritual awakening. You're seeing that everybody's falling away from him. You've always wondered why have I always been the one to seem like I'm, I'm last or counted out. Why doesn't it seem like that nobody wants to give me the opportunity without even checking my qualifications, right? Why does it seem like, why does it seem like I'm so different, but yet so, but yet so unique, right? Because everybody else out here in the world, they're, they're following each other. They're following the crowd. They're doing what the next person is doing, but you chosen ones, because you are doing your own thing because you are moving in your own direction, all right? And they see something within you. They see that you have something so bright about you, how great you are, right? You've always been a wonderful human being, right? You've always been able or have been willing to help others out when they've needed it. You have always been a great person. And they hated you for that, man. They hated that the, that you would always have a smile on your face, or that you were always able to uh, walk into the room and lift the spirits up of that room. They hated it because their demons was irritated. But check this out. They're still going to bounce back and forth. They're still going to bounce back and forth with you because once y'all become millionaires, once y'all become extremely successful, and you are becoming your greatest version, I'm trying to tell you right now, man, not only are they gonna be jealous and hating on you, but they're gonna try to still be in good graces and try to hang out with you. Try to do certain things, but yet they're gonna be publicly criticizing you, but yet copying you in the background. We, live in, we are living in some crazy, crazy times right now. I send nothing but love. I'm praying for all of y'all, man. I want y'all to know that for all of you that are going through your trials and tribulations, your pain and sufferings. Okay. I'm praying for you, family. I, I hope y'all are praying for your boy too. Please. I, I, I appreciate it because I'm look, y'all are not alone, man. We are in this together. When I, I'm not just, I'm not just on here just trying to say this stuff and saying, Hey, this is how, what you guys need to do. Like, look, this is for me too. All right. This is, this is for me also in some of my life experiences and things that I've already seen and been through. I'm letting y'all know how to maneuver. I'm letting y'all know how to move. All right. Keep on keeping on family. That's what you have to do right now because the enemy wants you to quit. All right. A lot of you, a lot of you are, are wanting to quit. A lot of you are wanting to get or throw in the towel right now because you feel like life is too hard, right? You feel like the relationship is too hard. The, the marriage is too hard. The job is too difficult. The people are getting on your nerves. You're ready to throw in the towel because your finances are continually over, over and over again being attacked. You're ready to throw in the towel because your kids are acting up, right? But you love and you adore them so much, but you're ready to throw in the towel with them. You're ready to throw in the towel with a lot of things because you're fed up with life. You're fed up with how things are acting. Listen, remember on an energetic level too, because this world is shifting, you're, you're gonna feel it in your DNA, family. All right, because we are all one, we are all connected. You, you're, you're going to feel it in your DNA, especially with the world. As the world begins to change, as the energy begins to change, as the vibrations begins to rise, you will feel it. 
That's why some of y'all are taking on me. You might be sad one day out of nowhere, right? And then the next thing you know, you're happy and joyful, all right? I'm trying to tell y'all right now, no matter what, you're wanting to throw in the towel, especially because of these people that are trying to take advantage of you, all right? They're trying to take advantage of everything that you're putting out, all right? They're trying to criticize it. They're trying to tell you, no, I don't think you should do it because it's not a good idea. It's not going to work. But in the background, okay, they're copying your ideas, man. They're trying, to, they're trying to see how they can make it work. That's why you cannot tell everybody your business. That is why you cannot trust everybody, chosen ones. When you go through an awakening, a lot of people, you're going to attract a lot of people into your life. And not every single one of those persons, people, all right, is not going to be good for you. All right, not every single one of them is going to be good for you. However, however, pay, pay close attention. As you continue to live in your heart center, okay, as long as y'all continue to push love out into the world with everything that you're doing, all right, even though, even through the trials and tribulations, even through the pain and sufferings, continue to push out love, all right? Remember, you know, y'all know the term, keep your enemies close, all right? So you can see what they're trying to do, how they're trying to maneuver on y'all so you don't get tricked. But continue to push out love into the world because once you do that, all right, that is how you're gonna attract your tribe, right? Your vibe is your tribe, y'all know that? So you in a high vibe, you're in a vibe of love, you're in a vibe of giving, you're in a vibe of living, all right? You will attract the right people into your life, but listen, there's gonna be the agents that's gonna try to show up to steal, kill, and destroy, all right? But going through your awakening, man, your discernment is gonna, it's gonna enheighten, it's gonna increase. You're gonna be able to see through this mess. All right, that's why God has you on the narrow path. That's why you guys have been taken away from uh, uh, from a lot of these people that used to be in your life. All right, because they was gonna they were gonna throw you off course. All right, your purpose, even if you don't know it yet, your purpose could not be fulfilled with these people next to you. I'm telling you that right now. Your purpose cannot be fulfilled with these people next to you. Well, why not, Coach Cav? Why can I not have my same friend group? You know what I'm saying? And 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 still fulfill my purpose. All right, listen, this world is chaotic, family. There's a lot going on right now. There's a lot always going on, but right now it's extremely prevalent. And I know y'all can see it. Y'all are paying attention. All right, I know y'all can see it. All right, we are in the same vibe. We're on this, we're in this together. All right, y'all can see what's happening. All right, and if you continue to have a lot of chatter, a lot of background noise, a lot of distractions, especially spiritually dead people within your energetic field, there's no way you can fulfill God's purpose because they have so many demons attached to them, right? And they're just going to try to drag you down. They're just going to try to pull you down over and over and over again, all right? And because you're going to be distracted by the worldly stuff or you're going to be distracted by uh, 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 um, uh, like, you know, the things that they're doing, the things that they're saying because they're not on the same level as you no more, it's going to be much easier for them to pull you back in, all right? So that is why you must... You must stay on this path to yourself by yourself. All right, that is why you'll be much. E God is God's talking to y'all, man. All right, he can't talk to you. You're not able to hear with a lot of chatter, like I said in the background. Okay, but not only that, a lot of these people, like I said, they're gonna try to hold on to y'all. Some of you guys are holding on to friendships, holding on to the job, holding on to certain, you know, certain relationships, things from your past that you don't need anymore. It doesn't resonate with you. It's time to let those things go so that you can open your heart up, open and step foot into a new, better future for yourself. If you're continuing to hold on to, to old relationships, just because you've had them, you know, friendships, right? Old friendships that you've had for, for years, right? Maybe for years, you've been with them for 15, 20, 30 years. You've known them for so long, but every single time you've been around them, you've noticed that your energy was drained. You've noticed that maybe, you know, one day your wallet was a little empty because they stole 10 or $20 out of your wallet. Right, they they've always they've always undermined you, okay? But yet they are jealous of you. That is why they have done these things to you. Yet you're still holding on to these relationships. It's time for y'all to cut the cords, right? Because like I said, they're holding on to you because just in case you make it even further than where you are already at currently in your life, right? You're already blessed and successful. You're already being being uh, um you're already prosperous. All right, you're already divinely protected by the most high. Everything is always working in your favor, even when it doesn't look like it isn't. 
it's always working in your favor because your trials and tribulations is much different from their trials and tribulations much much different because they don't know how to handle it they don't know how to maneuver through it they don't know how to get out of it they curse god they don't know what to do but you chosen ones are different right you stay positive even though it's hard you stay positive and they see that and that is why they're going to try to hold on to y'all but you cannot allow for that rope to be held around your waist for them to just play tug of war with you all right you are not a toy to be played with they cannot pick you up and throw you in a toy chest when they want to play with you all right you're not like woody right you know woody and buzz lightyear in toy story right when when he was done boop he just threw him right in the toy chest y'all are not a toy to be played with you are a chosen one of the most high you have a extremely high calling and a lot of these people that are trying to hold on to you right now they don't need you right they just want to know if you're gonna make it if you are gonna succeed we already know you're already succeeding but they can see it more than you can that's the thing you guys cannot probably see how successful you are becoming, but they can. They can see it. And the thing is, is that they're going to try to grasp onto y'all family. You got to let those people go. You got to cut those ties. You got to continue to keep moving that needle forward and keep on keeping on, right? Because if you don't, they're going to drag you right back down. God said, I can't take you over here to your purpose, man. I can't, I can't take you to, I can't give it to you. I can't, I can't give you your purpose when you are still holding on to this relationship, this friendship, this job. When I told you it wasn't resonating with you, I told you that I had something better for you. I told you that I had something much more grand of a higher calling for you. You may not be able to see it, but you know it deep down in your spirit, right? You guys got to lean on your talents and your passions, pull them out the closet. All right, because as you continue to do that, remember these people put their talents and passions back in the closet, but they see you using yours. They see you becoming your greatest version. So you cannot hold on to these type of relationships, to these type of people any longer. The time is now because this is your moment. The longer you continue to hold on to things that don't resonate with you, you're delaying your own manifestations into the physical. You're delaying that job that spouse, that home, that car, you're delaying your blessings because you're not putting yourself in the state of allowing by holding on to things that don't resonate with you no longer, no longer. Do not let these people bring you down, family, all right? Do not let these people hold on to you, all right? And, and I'm telling you, they're just trying to see if you're gonna make it. They're just trying to see. They're just trying to continue. They, they already peeked into your future. Just like Satan has peeked into your future and he's using your friends against you and your family against you. That's all it is, right? It's the hijacked spirit peeking into your future, trying to stop you, trying to hold on to you, knowing that they're, they're, they're going to call you up this weekend and say, hey, come on out to this party. Come on, come on out with me to this party or come do this, come do that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to go out, all right? I know y'all like to still go out and have a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But, but my point is, is that if they are a bad and negative energy, right? You already know this, right? And if you already know that they're gonna do something stupid at the end of the night and pull you down or get you in some type of trouble, you know you shouldn't be going, all right? And that's nothing but Satan using them, right? To get you to pull you right back over there, pull you right back over there. I told you, they ain't already peeked into your future. So they're trying to disrupt the blessing. All right, family, so do not allow for these people to hold on to you. You continue to keep moving forward. Keep, 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 keep moving forward. All right, keep on keeping on. No matter how hard it gets, you have to keep going, man, because if you, what are you gonna, what else are you gonna do? If you quit, what then what? Then what? If you quit, then what? It is known, man, it is, it is known that as long as you continue to put the energy into something, to continue to just move forward, right? Even if it seems impossible, family, right? You're stuck in that fog. You're stuck in the fog. You can't see forward. You can't see behind you. Oops, I didn't hit my mic. You can't see behind you. You can't see to the right. You can't see to the left. You're stuck in that fog. But you have to keep going and trusting the process. Trust the process. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, trust the process. All right, and maneuver around these people that's trying to hold on to you. Next thing you know it, man, y'all are gonna step right foot into that blessing, all right? Because you are now putting yourself in the state of allowing, now you're saying, okay, God, I trust you, okay? I, I trust that you are, why you're moving these people away from, out of my life. I know that I can't hold on to them. And I know it's hard because you've, 
you've, you've built that relationship with them or something for, for a long time. But once you go through an awakening, everything is different. Everything is different. <laughs> everything is different, man. Everything is different. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. And then people look at you like, who are you now? You know what I'm saying? I'm still the same person. I'm just elevated. That's it. I'm just elevated. I'm becoming my greatest version. I'm no longer stuck in the matrix. I'm out. I'm unplugged and I'm moving towards my greatest self. All right, family. I love y'all so much. If this video resonated with you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. I hope y'all have a great and safe weekend. All right. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to get some videos out this weekend, man, but I've been, it's busy. It's, it's Memorial Day weekend. So y'all be safe wherever you're going, wherever you're traveling to, to the beach, be safe, but be careful. All right. Hopefully y'all got the Teslas. You know what I'm saying? You got the, <laughs> so you don't have to put $7 a gallon of gas in your car. My goodness, man. It's crazy out here, family. We are living in some weird, weird moments, some weird times, but you know what? Y'all be safe because you, because no, you know what? You deserve it. All right. You've been through too much. They put you through too much at work. They put you through too much at home right? Your kids put you through too much. Your friends put you through too much. You guys deserve a nice little getaway if you are going away this weekend, all right? So y'all be safe. I love y'all to life, and I will see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.